today we are going to look at converting decimals to percents and converting percents to decimals. We will start with converting a decimal to a percent. In order to convert a decimal to percent, simply multiply by 100 or move the decimal two places to the right and add a percent sign. Here are some examples. Our first one is 0 and 80 one hundredths or 0 0.81. So you would multiply this by 100 to get your percent form. 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 8 is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0. Again, remember to add the placeholder 0, and again we have another set of zeros all the way across. We then have two placeholder zeros, and we multiply 1 by each of these numbers. At the end, we add them all up and move the decimal to the left two places, which will then give us 81%. There is a simpler strategy that causes us not to have to multiply by 100 every single time. When we are multiplying by 100, all we are doing is moving our decimal two places to the right and adding a percent sign. So let's look at that strategy on our second example. Again, we're multiplying by 100, but our shortcut is to move the decimal two places to the right, add a zero, because we did have an empty spot here, and then add a percent sign. For our next example, we have 0 0.08. Again, move our decimal two places to the right and add a percent sign. And our last example, move our decimal two places to the right and add a percent sign. So again, essentially, we are multiplying by 100 for each of these, but we chose a shortcut by just moving the decimal two places to the right and adding our percent sign or our zeros where they are necessary. So we looked at converting a decimal to a percent. Now let's look at converting a percent to a decimal. In order to do this, we simply divide by 100 or move the decimal two places to the left and adding zeros when they are needed. Let's look at converting percents to decimals. Percents are always out of 100. If I set it up as a fraction, remember that this fraction also means 25 divided by 100. I'm going to show you how mathematically our shortcut that we will use later will work. So if I do 25 divided by 100, I'm, 100 cannot go into 2, and it can't go into 25. So I need to add a decimal and add a zero. 100 goes into 250. 2 times, 2 times 100 is 200 subtracting, leaving us with 50. We now need to add another zero and bring it down. 100 goes into 500 five times, leaving us with zero at the bottom. So our decimal is 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths. Our shortcut here so that we don't have to divide every time is to move the decimal two places to the left. Since I don't have a decimal here, you have to remember that your decimal is always at the end of your number. And we're going to take that decimal, 1, 2, to the left, and that would be your answer. For this one, you could leave the 0 or just have it look without the 0 as 3 tenths. For 45%, again, we have to add our decimal at the end of our number and move it two places to the left for 45 hundredths or 0.45. And lastly, we have our decimal at the end of the number, move it two places to the left, add a zero for three hundredths or 0 